Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name, and Yahweh Shai is whom the world it nearly calls Jesus Christ. That's his true name. I'm also going to give double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone for ruling and teaching well in the scriptures, and salutations to all the Akim out there that push his word in all truth and in all sincerity. I'm going to do another uh, GMS scripture of the day. And um, basically, um, there's been a lot of scoffers once again coming up against the apostles, elders, and the uh, men of Great Millstone. Okay? And what I've noticed, and what I know other brothers have noticed this too, it doesn't matter if they, you know, believe in the, the Old Testament only, both the New and Old Testament. Um, whether they have differences in their doctrines between themselves what I've noticed they'll band together and um, they'll sit here and as long as they are all in agreement to come against Great Millstone they're cool with each other and it reminded me of this scripture in the book of Acts uh, the 23rd chapter we're going to start at verse 12 it says and when it was day Certain of the Jews banded together and bound themselves under a curse, saying that we would ne neither eat nor drink till they had killed Paul. And they were more than 40 which had made this conspiracy. All right, and this was what was happening to, um, to Paul, okay? You know, um, during his trials and tribulations, he, you know, he had to deal with a, a council, okay? The charges were brought upon him, and, um, Certain, certain of these uh, Pharisees, okay, uh, banded together to kill this man, okay, to kill the uh, Apostle Paul, okay, and that's what these uh, um, scoffers and two thirds, okay, that's what they do against the uh, men of a uh, great millstone, man. Like I was saying, they could have differences in their doctrines between themselves, and they'll still band together to try to put us down, all right. Um, and it says, and they came to the chief priest and, el and elders and said, we have bound ourselves under a great curse that we will eat nothing until we have slain Paul. Now, therefore, ye will, it says, now, therefore, ye with the council signify to the chief captain that he bring him, bring him down unto you tomorrow as though ye would inquire something more perfectly concerning him. And we, or even he come near, are ready to kill him. All right. And that's how these, um. These scoffers and scorners are. They're, they're ready to kill us, okay? They're ready to lay hands on us. If they could, they would. Alright? But through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, it's not going to happen. Alright? And, um, you know, I wanted just to do a quick lesson, a quick scripture of the day. Because that was something that I was pondering about this past week. Because I've been seeing nothing but scoffer after scoffer, reprobate after reprobate, coming up against us. And, um, you know, they're all banding to, together to try to uh, uh, um, knock down the spiritual tower that we're building. But they're not going to do it because this is all through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. It says in the book of Acts that if this will be a man, that it will come to naught. All right. And with that, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone. And salutations to Yahweh, Shalom. On that one.